Hello, my name is Moving Cat and welcome to my 2021 Fall Event Overview. In this video I will go over all you need to know about this event, including the game mechanics, how easy it is to get daily specials, the grand prize, and so on. Now I already have a couple of videos going over the Fall Set or Harvest Farm Set, so if you are interested in those they will be linked in the description. Uh, in this video, I will go over the event itself and the mechanics of it. So let's start right there with the game mechanics. Uh, now the game mechanics, they are well known. They are exactly the same as last year. In fact, the people at the fandom wiki didn't really feel any point in upgrading the graphics because this screenshot is from last year, but it's exactly the same this year. Uh, what's a little bit unique about this event is that instead of one uh, event currency, as in, in most events, you have five. You have five different ingredients, and with these ingredients you bake cakes or different recipes. Uh, these recipes are the classic choose one of three. One will give better uh, chances of the daily special, and we'll get a little, little bit back into that later on. Now you'll see that each of these recipes uh, cost a specific amount of specific ingredients. Now that is another challenge about this event, you need to balance out your ingredients, the event currencies. Now I'll get back into that later on as well. Uh, you'll also see that each of these recipes or options give stars. These are uh, directly proportional to the number of ingredients you spend. So one ingredient gives one star, three ingredients give three stars, and so on. And when you have collected 20 stars, you get the next grand prize. And I'll also get back into the grand prize later on. And that's basically it. There's not a lot more to the mechanics. You choose one of three, you try to balance your ingredients, and you get some rewards along the way. Now, how many ingredients will you get? Well, if you do all the quests and daily logins, you will get 133 ingredients for free which is 27 or 26 of each different type. Uh, although, in addition to those, uh, each day one of the two daily challenge options will give you two random ingredients. So I strongly recommend that you choose those two ingredients because they really will allow you to get more daily specials. And if you want to get the grand prize fully leveled, then I do uh, think you really need to, to, to do those uh, daily challenges as well. So if you do those uh, challenges, all of those, you will get 173 ingredients for free. If you also include some from in uh, incidents, let's say around 180 uh, ingredients for free from this event. And remember that number because it will uh, be important later on in this video. Now, next, a uh, little bit unique thing about this event uh, and again, this is well known from last year as well, but after quest 4, you'll see that we have two unique quest lines. So simultaneously, we will have two quest lines, and you'll be able to complete quests from both quest lines at the same time. Now that brings some challenges, uh, but also some benefits. Uh, the challenge is that there are more quests. This event has a lot of quests, I believe over 70 in total. Uh, but you are able to complete two sets of uh, quests at the same time. So, for example, here you can see that quest number 16 requires you to produce 8-hour productions, and uh, quest number 37 on the other side requires you to produce or uh, complete 8-hour uh, productions. Uh, so if you plan ahead, you might be able to do both of those at the same time uh, with the same collections. And also some other stuff like spending forge points or collecting resources. You can do that those at the same time uh, in both quest lines. Now that does require some planning. Uh, I, as I've started doing, I do have uh, pinned in the first comment a uh, cheat list uh, with my bottlenecks for all of these quests. That might be different for you, though I do think most people will have similar bottlenecks to me. Uh, so if you want to use that, that is linked in the description. Uh, but another great, great way to do it is simply go into the Wikipedia page, which I'll link in the description, and you can go through the quest and you'll find uh, which uh, quests are bottlenecks for you, where you need to plan ahead. Uh, so yeah, doing that, you should be able to complete these very quickly if you want to. 
Uh, now, I don't really think there's too much uh, point in rushing these quests. Uh, you should have plenty of chances of getting the uh, Harvest Farm set, if that's what you're after. So, But if you want to rush the quest, that'll be linked uh, in the first comment. Uh, now, after the rush quests, the daily quests go back to uh, one uh, quest line. Uh, so, so yeah, from quest 54 uh, and uh, onwards all the way to how many? Yeah, 75 you will be able to. Uh, you, you only need to do one uh, per day. So yeah, and you can see again, we there are a lot of quests, which is a downside with the double quest line, but should be a little bit easier to complete. Now, uh, moving on from the quests, let's quickly talk about the ingredients or recipes because we have 15 different recipes. There are five three star recipes or three ingredient recipes. Then you have five two star or two ingredient recipes and five one star or one ingredient recipes. Now, in general, uh, when it comes to daily specials, the one star recipes are best followed by roughly the second uh, two-star recipes and then the uh, three-star recipes. Uh, there are some exceptions, uh, these two here for example, the chocolate cinnamon bread and the chocolate fudge brownies, they give quite poor uh, results or quite poor chance com uh, compared to the others. Uh, and that's actually quite nice because as I mentioned you do need to balance out your ingredients uh, and the two best options for daily specials are the snickerdoodles and chocolate chip cookies uh, which require either one chocolate or one cinnamon uh, but when we come to the two star uh, or two ingredient recipes the ones that also include chocolate and cinnamon are the worst ones so here you should be able to balance out where you spend uh, cinnamon and chocolate for these two and then try to spend the other three ingredients here for two other uh, for two stars or other one star recipes uh, now, if you have Foey Helper, helper that will tell you which option is the best each time. I strongly recommend that if you are on browser. Uh, although calculating it yourself isn't too difficult. Uh, here for the one star recipes, you simply look at the number. And then for the two star recipes, you look at the number and divide it by two. As simple as that. And you'll find out how much you get per ingredient. So here, 5% chance per ingredient. Here, 6.5 and, and so on. And same for these, you divide these by three. It might be a little bit more difficult in your head, but yeah, shouldn't be difficult at all. So if you're on mobile, shouldn't be too difficult to calculate yourself which is the best option. So yeah, uh, let's move on to the grand prizes. Uh, so the grand prize for this event is the Golden Corrupts. It is 6x4, uh, which is quite big, and it does require a road, which is expected. It has 9 levels, and at level 9 it gives 30 goods. It gives 9 forge points, which is quite disappointing in my opinion for such a big building. Uh, it also gives 15 goods to the guild treasury, which is nice. And the special thing about this building is that it gives one fragment of a 1-up kit. Now, in in theory, I really like the idea of a building giving fragments, though for this specific one, in my opinion, it's not the best. You, you do need 30 fragments to get one 1-up one kit, so so yeah, you do need to run it for a month before you get a 1-up kit, which is a little bit on the low side, in my opinion. But it is what it is. In addition to that, you also get some supply boost, which is very nice in early ages if you are on a brand new world. If you're just starting out, for example, that's quite nice. And this actually has a very nice uh, a nice uh, increase from age to age. Uh, or <laughs> what I mean is you, it doesn't increase much. So even in lower ages, the boost is very nice. Here you can see that it only goes to as low as 39% chance. Uh, but in the highest ages, it's only up by another 6%, so 45%. So even in lower ages, this is very nice boosts. It can definitely help you out as you start on a new world where you might be struggling to produce enough supplies. Now, how easy is it to get the golden crops, you might be wondering. Uh, well, uh, if you recall, we will get, roughly speaking, 180 ingredients uh, if we do the daily challenges. Uh, and because each ingredient equals one star and 20 stars equal one uh, grand prize, 
480 ingredients, we will be able to get nine grand prizes if we also, if we're able to spend all of those ingredients. So you should be able to get nine grand prizes if you uh, if you pick up incidents regularly. Now for nine uh, grand prizes, you will be able to get five golden crop uh, upgrade kits from the grand prizes. You will also get three kits from the uh, uh, grand uh, milestone reward, sorry. So that is eight in total, which means you only need another one for a maxed out gold, golden crops. Uh, you can either get that from the event surprise box if you have that, or you could get it from the leagues, from the apprentice league. Now, on beta, in order to get into Apprentice, you needed 187 uh, ingredients or stars. Uh, I'm not sure if how representative that is. You might be able to get it for uh, lower than that, but but yeah, you might not be able to get into Apprentice for free. It really depends on how many uh, on, how, on how many uh, incidents you're able to pick up, how many ingredients you get from them. Uh, and also how active your world is. So, if you don't have the event surprise box and you don't, uh, if you're in an active world, then you might struggle getting it for free. But if you do have the event surprise box and you do, and you are able to spend, uh, collect and spend 180 ingredients, then you will be able to get the golden crops fully leveled. Now, uh, moving on, let's talk about the daily specials. Uh, I think most people. Uh, are interested in <laughs> what I'm interested in, which is, uh, where is it, where is it, uh, da, 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 da. daily specials. I think most people are interested in the harvest farm and harvest fields. Uh, there are some other good options as well, such as the Sentinel Outpost, the September Cottage is good as well. Uh, but I think most people sh really should go for the harvest farm. As I've gone over in my three previous videos, it really is an amazing set. Now. So yeah, if you want to learn more about it, the link is in the description. Now, how many of these are you expected to get? Uh, now, that is a little bit difficult to estimate. Uh, I, uh, in my previous videos, uh, I've used 7% uh, chance per ingredient as my rough estimate of how much you need to spend or how high, how, how high of a chance you have of getting a grand prize daily special sorry for each ingredient so this one gives eight for example this one's six these one's ten and so on so i think i think around seven is a decent estimate and with 180 ingredients and a seven percent chance per ingredient of getting a daily special you are expected to get around 12 daily specials which is really qu quite good and uh, if you're lucky you you don't have that lower of a chance of getting more. Of course, you can get un unlucky as well and get fewer, but I would say that you're very likely to get somewhere in the region of 9 to 14, 15 daily specials. So quite a lot, and combine, <laughs> combining that with the fact that the harvest farm, the harvest fields are really good, give a lot of either attack or forge points or goods, depending on what you're interested in, this is a really, really good event for daily specials, and if you have diamonds to spend, I would do that on this event for the harvest fields. So yeah, you should be able to get around 12 on average, but more or less depending on your luck. So, I think that is all I want to go over in this video. Again, if you have any comments, any questions, leave those in, in the uh, comments. So yeah, before I end this video, I want to thank my Patreons. I would like to thank Homestar, as well as Merrick B, PQ the Goat and Arkler, and Rocco and Henrik der Erklerberg. Thank you very much for your support. If you want to support me, the link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the future.